we're going to talk about something called Reading Smoke today. You may have heard about the curriculum, but Reading Smoke is a way for you to get it quicker, right? How fast can you figure out what a fire is about to do before you commit to an environment? All right, welcome back. So today we're going to go over Chief Dave Dodson's um, Art of Reading Smoke. So he has four categories that he um, looks at when you're making a size up out of a house and trying to see what's going on on the inside. Um, he goes over volume, velocity, density, and color. So smoke volume by itself doesn't paint the full picture. It shows the amount of fuel that's releasing energy inside, but it also depends on the contents burning as well. If you have a kitchen fire, you could have a small amount of oil burning with a large amount of volume of smoke. Uh, also, you could have a big warehouse on fire with a, a small amount of smoke showing on the outside, but a large fire on the inside. So smoke volume by itself doesn't paint the full picture, but it does give you an idea. Um, a well-ventilated fire will have very little smoke, and a hot, fast-moving fire that's in an un under-ventilated room will produce a lot of smoke. Um, once that space gets filled with smoke, it starts pressurizing, and that starts with the, the velocity part. Dense turbulent smoke that has filled the box sets the stage for vent-controlled fire and the resulting explosive growth event. So the next one is velocity, which is speed and flow characteristics of the smoke leaving the building. So speed is indication of built-up pressure inside. As the pressure builds, it causes the smoke to come out faster through the um, openings. And then heat and volume also causes that pressure. So there's two different types of flow that he talks about. There's laminar and turbulent. So turbulent flow is kind of like this. It's very um, angry. Um, flashover is likely. Um, when things heat up in a restricted space, the molecules expand, the, the gases causing radiant heat off the walls themselves. And once that space and walls cannot absorb any more heat, flashover is likely. Um, versus the laminar, like this, it's uh, more stable. The, the building is still able to absorb a little bit more heat, allowing smoke to look more stable and straight in line flow. And then also maybe some thermal layering. Um, so comparing the velocity of the smoke um, from two separate openings, you can kind of tell that um, if you have two separate openings but they're the same size, you can see that the faster the faster smoke coming out of one window um, usually means that it's closer to the seat of the fire. And then as the smoke kind of gets slower looking, it's um, usually farther away. But it has to be two similar openings, like two doors side by side, for example, or two same size um, openings. Because if you have one big one and one small, the small opening could have fast moving smoke um, just based off of its size versus a larger. Um, so Dotson says the fastest smoke from the smallest opening is uh, where the fire is at. So the next one is density. Um, density kind of tells you where um, how bad things are inside so thicker smoke means more fuel in the air um, and more spectacular the flash over will be also thick black smoke is less likely for life in the area a firefighter crawling through a zero visibility is crawling through unburned fuel so other things you have to be aware of when um, dealing with uh, the density when you can't see your hands in front of you Um, so here's another one of color. So you can see in the back, um, it's a lot darker. And then here, it's a little bit lighter. Um, it just kind of shows uh, real quick how the, the actual smoke that's um, on fire or, or above the fire will be a lot uh, darker. <clears throat> and then as it's pushing through here, the black smoke will kind of rub off on some of the seats and, and walls and then it'll it'll come out lighter out here because it lost a lot of that color um, as it was traveling so when you see dark smoke versus lighter smoke the darker smoke will be closer to the fire um, 
along with smoke um, it can also show white smoke is early um, early stage black smoke shows carbonation of materials and hotter temperatures as well as later stages um, that being said, how can you tell an early stage fire from a late stage fire which has traveled far and gotten light? So you could have an incipient stage fire which is light smoke or fire that has traveled longer distances and they've gotten lighter from traveling. Um, so the, the answer to that is velocity. If you see white smoke that's moving quickly, it's pressurized and probably came some distance versus a lazy you know slow smoke which is early stage fires um and then what about brown smoke brown smoke is unfinished wood gives off um, heat and uh, that's studs and trusses and those types of things so when you see brown smoke it could mean that the the contents um of the fire have already burned and now it's on the structural side it's starting to burn those joists and stuff so you have to be worried about collapse and those types of things um, with that being said these are some questions that you can ask yourself is how much smoke can you see from the outside how fast is it moving how thick is the smoke and what color um, those four questions are really good um, to ask and test yourself when you're looking at different uh, types of fires. And then here is just one excerpt from him. So that's all I got for today. Um, you can look and purchase some more of his videos. Um, Dave Dotson's, uh, I like this theory of velocity, volume, density, and color. It makes sense. You can go ahead and use those in your training and when you're on scene and try practice for yourself to, to figure this out um, of reading smoke. So thanks for watching. See you next time.